stop hoping for a completion of anything in life, most men make the error of thinking that one day it will be done. They think, if I can work enough, then one day I could rest. Or, one day my woman will understand something and then she will stop complaining. Or, I'm only doing this now so that one day I can do what I really want with my life. The masculine error is to think that eventually things will be different in some fundamental way. They won't, it never ends. As long as life continues, the creative challenge is to tussle, play, and make love with the present moment while giving your unique gift. It's never going to be over, so stop waiting for the good stuff. As of now, spend a minimum of one hour a day doing whatever you are waiting to do until your finances are more secure, or until the children have grown and left home, or until you have finished your obligations and you feel free to do what you really want to do. Don't wait any longer. Don't believe in the myth of one day when everything will be different. Do what you love to do, what you are waiting to do, what you've been born to do, now. Spend at least one hour a day doing whatever you simply love to do, what you deeply feel you need to do, in your heart, in spite of the daily duties that seem to constrain you. However, be forewarned, you may discover that you don't, or can't, do it. That, in fact, your fantasy of your future life is simply a fantasy. Most postponements are excuses for a lack of creative discipline. Limited money and family obligations have never stopped a man who really wanted to do something, although they provide excuses for a man who is not really up to the creative challenge in the first place. Find out today whether you are willing to do what it takes to give your gift fully. As a first step, spend at least an hour today giving your fullest gift, whatever that is for today, so that when you go to sleep at night you know you couldn't have lived your day with more courage, creativity, and giving. In addition to the myth that one day your life will be fundamentally different, you may believe, and hope, that one day your woman will be fundamentally different. Don't wait, assume she's going to be however she is, forever. If your woman's behavior or mood is truly intolerable to you, you should leave her, and don't look back, since you cannot change her. However, if you find her behavior or mood is merely distasteful or a hassle, realize that she will always seem this way. The feminine always seems chaotic and complicated from the perspective of the masculine. The next time you notice yourself trying to fix your woman so that she will no longer fill in the blank, relax and give her love by touching her and telling her that you love her when she is this way, whatever you filled in the blank with. Embrace her, or wrestle with her, or scream and yell for the heck of it, but make no effort to bring an end to that which pisses you off. Practice love instead of trying to bring an end to the quality that bothers you. You can't escape the tussle with the feminine. Learn to find humor in the unending emotional drama the feminine seems to enjoy so much. The love that you magnify may realign her behavior, but your effort to fix her and your frustration never will. The world and your woman will always present you with unforeseen challenges. You are either living fully, giving your gift in the midst of those challenges, even today, or you are waiting for an imaginary future which will never come. Men who have lived significant lives are men who never waited, not for money, security, ease, or women. Feel what you want to give most as a gift, to your woman and to the world, and do what you can to give it today. Every moment waited is a moment wasted, and each wasted moment degrades your clarity of purpose.